Hi, I'm Gary and welcome to my shop. In this quick tip video, I'm going to show you about putting on these one gallon Ziploc bags onto those magnifying lights that we use for working with small parts and stuff. And I got this tip from the woodsmith shop, one of their e-tips or something like that. I've been trying to find that so I could at least list it in the description below. If I do find it, I'll put it in the description below. That's where I got this idea from. But I found with my lights, they're a little bit larger apparently than the ones that they showed in their video tip. And this fit over there, but it kind of split because it was such a tight fit. What I did come up with, uh, just by accident, I was at Dollar Tree and I came across this bag. And for one buck, what it is basically is a backpack that you know a lot of kids use, or adults who are commuting. Uh, for carrying you know various goods in and I found that this fits over my lights very easily all I have to do is take of course this label off here and what I'm going to do is trim the string on one end cut it down this other end and then stay tuned here and I'll show you how I put this on okay to make this bag work for me what I do is I cut one of the cords one of the ends Take that out. And this other end here, cut that off. I want to keep this short end here in place while I get these adjusted. This cords uh, go through this bag where they kind of loop through here, around the back, and then back out to this end here. So this cord here, I can find the other end of it here, and I can pull that one out of there. So it's gone and out. And all I have to do is to deal with this one here. And I've got these cord stops. This one I think is for a quarter inch. These are small, one eighth inch, so it's just a matter of getting these two fed through here. Well, I've got one coming through. Okay, got that one coming through too. So I've got both of those. Then what I want to do is kind of cinch it up a bit. Get my cords about like that. Cut off some of the excess. Tie it in a knot on the end here. It's kind of probably hard to see in the video here, but you can probably get the gist of it and follow along. That keeps the cord stop from going all the way through. Then you can cinch that up, cinch up the cord stop, and you get the bag that I'll show you how this works. Yes, okay, they showed in the Woodsmith Shop video on how to put a Ziploc bag on these magnifying lights. One gallon is supposed to fit pretty good. Uh, find a mine was. A pretty tight fit. My light must be a little bit bigger than the one they were showing in their video. And also I split out the sides of these to get it to fit over. I also tried the one that has the zipper on there too and it's kind of the same fit. So I'll show you another option that I came up with. Okay as I showed you I took this bag that I got at Dollar Tree made some uh, adjustments to how the string works and this fits on here really good and easy and then I can cinch it up here and pull up the cord tie and that holds up pretty good well thank you for watching this video hope you enjoyed it and you got the inspiration to make something of your own if you did please give me a like and share it with your family friends and fellow craftspersons also Please subscribe to see what I may come up with next, and be sure to hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on anything. Also, I greatly appreciate all your comments. I get a lot of good ideas from you. So, if the ladies don't find you handsome, at least they should find you handy. Thank you.